Hey guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today what we're going to be doing is checking out these three aircraft, all built by the same person. Now this one right here is the de Havilland DH-88 Comet, the next one is a Boeing PT-17, and the next one is a, I don't know how you say that, but a C-30 Autogyro. This one is kind of the one that is tickling my fancy the most, but um, we're probably going to start with the one in the middle. So, let's go ahead and get inside, we'll take off, we'll fly around, and then we'll come back and jump in another one. Let's do this. Okie dokie, so let's go ahead and jump inside the front seat. There is actually, obviously, two seats. There is a baggage compartment latch right there, and a baggage compartment latch right here too. Uh, so you can actually open that up, which is pretty awesome. Um, apparently there's a parachute back there, so I'm going to go ahead and equip that. And then I'm going to get inside the front seat. We're going to turn on the magnetos. Uh, I don't know how you turn on the actual beast itself, but uh, I don't know if I just throttle up what happens. Or do we crank it from the, the front? I'm not sure if this is a front cranked machine. I don't know. How do I start this thing? Alright, there is no description on this thing just yet, so I'm going to go ahead and have a little look on the front. See if I can find anything. There is, uh, yes, there we go. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> it just disappeared. Uh, right, I'm going to get inside then. Just in case it actually... St what is happening? It just popped in and then it went away. That's very confusing. I'm going to throttle this down. And then I'm going to get out again and try again. So, yes, you do actually hand crank it. That's insane. Here we go. Three. Oh, why is it gone? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, there we go. Now get inside and do this. And the magnetos? I don't know how you do this. <laughs> oh, I see. There is a starter clutch right here. So, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh! <laughs> okay, I did manage to ram it into the ground instantly, but it should... Oh, my goodness. It should be able to get airborne, especially with... Oh, my. Oh, my... Okay, pull up. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, this is kind of insane. Um, oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, it wouldn't be a frantic video without some sort of catastrophe. Uh, and I've, I've started with a catastrophe. So, because I had my throttle to full, this thing has obviously tried to, to, to fly off. Uh, and it's pitched itself into the ground. So, that's good. <laughs> um, the main issue with that is, obviously, we've lost a propeller blade. But it is still flying completely fine. Uh, and it is actually working out quite nicely, so that's good. Um, but yeah. Oh, level flight is attempting to happen. Do we have a... I don't know if we've got a, um, a welder on this. I don't think we do. Uh-oh. But you know what, guys? It is still flying actually very nicely. Uh, obviously, there is an issue with the plane because um, I smacked the propeller off the ground, but it is working. I also really like the hand crank feature. The fact that it just disappears is kind of cool. Um, but at the same time, there is no description on this, so I didn't know how to start this. Um, but there you go. Anyway, should we just jump into the back seat and see what's going on back there? Oh, no. <laughs> just took off. Okay, can I control it from here? Oh, you can! I thought you'd be able to control it from the back seat. That's really cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and try and go in for a landing, shall we? Here we go. Yes. Alright, so the front seats and the back seats have the same controls. That does seem to make sense to me. Uh, we need to land. We do need to land. Uh, we, we should probably not land on the taxiway. So let's not do that. Um, but we're good. We're good. Here we go. Level flight has been achieved. Uh-oh. Oh! <laughs> okay, this is a bit ridiculous. We bounced. We're on the ground. I can't tell whether the handbrake is on. Or whether it isn't. I actually don't know. I feel like it's off right now. So we're going to go ahead and try and park ourselves back up. In between these guys. Because I think that would be pretty cool. So here we go. We're going to go in for a parking. Go in for a parking. That's never been said before. Uh, bam. Yeah. Oh, nice. That actually totally worked. Um, it is worth mentioning. I don't know how to stop this. Uh, and this is going to kill me. Okay, there we go. There we go. Good job, me. I stopped the engine of the beast. Nice. Okay, I think the next one that we should try is actually probably this one. So, um, yeah, let's jump inside. 
Oh, look at that. It's called Black Magic. Okay, let's get inside. Pilot seat and co-pilot navigator. Let's have a look at this first. Uh, okay, we have oil readings, airspeed, and compass. Okay, let's get inside the front. Port engine starter. Oh, actually, hang on. Uh, There's a lot of fuel cocks going on in here. I don't know which fuel cock we need the most. But we'll start the engines anyway. There we go, close the canopy. Navigation lights, yes! Okay, are we ready to go? I think we are. Let's go for it. Let's just go for it. Here we go, flaps down, it's gonna be four. There we go. And now we should be able to take off. Maybe. Oh boy! Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, there we go, right in the sky, straight away. Okay, landing gear cranks. Let's go ahead and lift those up. <gasps> Look at the exhaust! Oh, that looks amazing! How do I lift up the landing gear? I don't know how you lift up the landing gear just yet, but I think it's working. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know, is it? Oh, there you go. It is It is folding in. Okay, let's hope the rest of it folds in too. Also, I'm going to go ahead and lift the flaps up. And there we go. Okay, level flight. Amazing. Oh, wow. This one's so much quicker than the previous one. Let's turn ourselves around. Here we go. Landing gear is slowly coming in. Extremely slowly, but it's, it is working. Turn all the way around. Okay, lovely. Lovely jubbly. Nice. Let's buzz the uh, let's buzz the tower, as it were. Let's go. Oh my, first person on this thing, you can't really you can't really see very much. Uh, but that's okay. That's fine. Here we go. Flying over. Nice. Press 5 for level flight. Okay, excellent. I do want to go higher though, because otherwise we will ram the land, and clearly that's not a good thing. You know? You never really want to ram the land. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, this is cool. This is very, very nice. With level flight, I wonder if we can go upside down. Ooh! Almost touched the wing off the ground. That was a bad idea. Okay, yeah, I don't know. I don't know whether that allows you to fly upside down. Anyway, let's go ahead and turn that off. Let's go ahead and put the landing gear back down and attempt to land this. Uh-oh, 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 yeah, okay, right, so I can't attempt to land it, because I've just crashed it into the ocean. How do I get out of this? Press 6, there we go, canopy's open, and I'm out of here. So, I would say that is a lot less agile than I feel like you'd expect it to be, but I think it's like a straight line speed kind of plane, so, um, I guess that's fine. It is sinking to the bottom of the ocean, though, so that's kind of sad. But, um, now we get to choose, or, and fly, the one that I'm actually really excited about. Here it is! This thing right here is called the... I don't know how you say it. C... Sierra... Sierra... C30? I don't know. Anyway, this thing is a... Autogyro. Although in this game it probably doesn't work like an autogyro, but maybe it does. Who knows? Uh, do we start it from the front again? I'm gonna assume we do, but I don't know where. Do we do it from the front? I don't... Maybe we don't. Maybe we don't do it from the front. Okay, is there two seats on this? There is. Okay, pilot seat is actually in the back. Magneto starter. Okay, let me close this up. There we go, passenger door. Passenger sits in the front, obviously. Uh, okay, throttle up to full. Rotor clutch. Okay. Okay, go. Is this gonna work? I don't, I don't, I don't know if this is gonna work. Uh, what am I missing? Parking brake is six. That might have been what I was missing? I don't know. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, rotor brake. Rotor clutch. Oh, 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 don't crash it. Don't crash it, go, floor it. Off the side. Uh, oh, 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 it's working. I'm flying it. I'm, I'm, I'm flying, I think. Yes, it's working. I'm doing it, guys. I'm doing it. I kind of really want to experiment with the wind with this thing, but at the same time, I feel like we're going to have some issues. 100% wind straight away. Okay. No, it's actually... No. It is dealing with it, but it's, um... It's struggling a little bit. But honestly, it's actually kind of working. This is crazy. All right, let's go ahead and turn ourselves around. There we go. Fly ourselves back over. This is... This is sick. So I'm assuming you'd actually land this thing like like forwards and just land it like a plane, um, which 
yeah, I suppose makes sense, but when you've got this much wind, I don't know how I'm gonna land. <laughs> I honestly have no idea how I'm supposed to land here. Uh, okay, park your brake is gonna go on. Let's go ahead and press six straight away. Okay, we are like drifting it down the runway. All right, we're gonna throttle down. Okay, and we're gonna we're gonna turn it into a landing. Here we go. There. Oh yes. Oh my goodness. What a landing. <laughs> it actually worked. All right, magneto off. There we go. Rotor brake. Uh, rotor brake. I don't know whether that's working. Rotor must be stopped. Ah. Well, how am I supposed to get out? Mm. Oh, I got out of the seat and it started spinning, but we're okay. Okay, passenger door. There we go. I'm getting out. I'm getting out. There we go. Nice. We did it. Okay, so I'm going to leave it here. If you guys want to check out any of these ones, I will link them all down below and you guys can check them out for yourselves. Also, let me know in the comments down below, which one of these was your favorite? I honestly, it's between this one and this one. I, I like both of them a lot. Uh, I really like biplanes, um, and this one is very, very cool. But I also like very quirky things, so this one is also very, very awesome. Let me know in the comments down below which one's your favorite, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.